Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. So today we have a new topic in microbiology that is types of immunity. So we know immunity it is our body's defensive mechanism or it is the ability of the body to protect against all types of foreign bodies like uh, bacteria, virus, toxic substances or whatever which enters the body as antigen. So let's learn the types of immunity and the further classification. So as I mentioned, immunity is the ability of the body to protect against all types of foreign bodies like bacteria, virus and other toxic substances. Since it protects as from the disease it is also called as disease resistance okay disease resistance so lack of immunity is known as susceptibility this is common terminologies which we come across in microbiology and pathogenesis that is susceptibility and disease resistance so lack of immunity is known as susceptibility and immunity is also known as disease resistance. So immunity is commonly done by our immune system which is a complex network of lymphoid organs. So what are the lymphoid organs? They are bone marrow. What else? Bone marrow thymus you know thymus gland and spleen so all this includes in our immunity system or immune system which is a complex network of all these lymphoid organs such as bone marrow thymus and spleen now let's move on to the classification of immunity basically we have two types of immunity one is innate immunity and other one is adaptive or acquired immunity okay innate immunity is by default we getting some immunity before any type of infection we already have this immunity to many diseases but acquired immunity is after the infection or after the entry of a pathogen or after a, a particular microorganisms enters which causes specific disease then our body uh, creates or body develops a particular immunity which is known as adaptive or acquired which is acquired after the infection this is by default innate immunity okay so this acquired immunity is further classified as a natural and artificial naturally acquired and artificially acquired uh, this artificially acquired we commonly seen like uh, vaccines and antibodies transfer uh, whereas the natural one we have uh, the maternal uh, transfer of uh, immunity to the child that is passive immunity and infection like uh, smallpox through smallpox we get infection and later we develop immunity against uh, such diseases because uh, people with infection of uh, cowpox is already having uh, immunity against smallpox that's how this development of smallpox vaccine came into existence now, anyway that is another story so this is a basic classification uh, innate immunity and adaptive immunity which is also known as acquired immunity the acquired immunity has natural and artificial one is uh, naturally uh, acquiring one is through the vaccines and antibodies so this is passive and active uh, the further classification okay now let's come back to our innate immunity okay which is also known as uh, natural or native immunity natural or native immunity this is by default we are getting this immunity which basically consists of mechanisms that exist before the infection that is a crucial point it the immunity we get before the infection okay 
so before the infection there is no infection here before the infection we get this immunity and are capable of rapid response to microbes so it comprises of basically four types of defense barriers that is anatomical barriers phagocytic barriers blood proteins and cytokines so let's see one by one so what could be the anatomical barriers the most common one is our skin right skin is a big anatomic barrier which uh, gives a mechanical barrier and retards the entry of microbes and mucous membrane is another one mucous membrane mucous membrane which uh, is having uh, which entraps the foreign microorganisms and there will be acidic environment like pH around 3 to 5 which also retards the growth of microbes whereas uh, we have phagocytic barrier which includes neutrophils macrophages and uh, natural killing cells which is like uh, which destroys microbes by entocytosis and phagocytosis which is engulfment of this uh, antigens or the foreign particles and also our body has uh, temperature pH temperature like body temperature uh, when we get fever is a response to infection right so we get an infection body rises its temperature in a response to kill those pathogens and we have acidic pH in our stomach around 2 to 3 which kills most of the ingested microorganisms and these all are our anatomic barrier which is the innate immunity the phagocytic barriers are uh, like phagocytosis and endocytosis by neutrophils macrophages and other cells and we have various blood proteins and cytokines are also providing innate immunity okay so we have a few types of innate immunity one is uh, species immunity and racial immunity and individual immunity so species immunity is like uh, it is a species is having uh, immunity against a particular pathogen like birds is having immunity against tetanus racial immunity a uh, few races have protection against certain diseases and also some individuals some individual immunity some very specific for each because not uh, we know about the food allergy so uh, some people are allergic to um, seafood but many are not allergic to seafood because they have already some kind of in innate immunity against those pathogens which is actually creating those food poison or allergy in that people so some are having individual immunity against those allergen so these are the types of innate immunity now let's move on to our acquired or adaptive immunity which is the type of immunity which is developed by the host in its body after the exposure of suitable antigen okay or after transfer of antibodies or lymphocytes from an immune door donor so we are acquiring it either it could be due to the presence of infection from from the infection the body develops body develops its uh, immune system that is active immunity smallpox and it is uh, providing some vaccine which creates immunity like polio and cholera vaccine that is the immunity and also it could be like passive like we are transferring antibodies which is created in another donor like host and we extract the antibodies and antibodies will be transferred to our body and the passive natural is the mother is transferring uh, immunity through the placenta to the child that is mainly IgG antibodies so antibodies are passive type of immunity in acquired and in active type it is either vaccines and the smallpox infection so the active immunity 
so active immunity is induced by the natural exposure to a pathogen or by vaccination so when we are exposed to uh, a peculiar cowpox infection we get uh, immunity against smallpox or we get a vaccination against uh, certain diseases like polio and cholera we get immunity that is uh, active immunity whereas a passive immunity passive immunity is like achieving by the transfer of immune products such as antibodies or uh, sensitized t cells from an immune individual to non immune one so people with immunity will produce antibodies in their body so these antibodies will extract from that pecu pe peculiar uh, person or peculiar organism or a animal and transfer it to a non immune individual that is passive immunity the immune immunity is produced outside the person okay as antibodies and that is that will be transferred to it okay but active is the body itself is creating but the antigen is coming from outside here the antibody itself is coming from outside that is in passive here the body itself producing antibodies but the antigen or the infection we are getting from outside that is smallpox or the vaccines so that is the basic difference between uh, this active and passive coming under adaptive or acquired immunity okay so another type of classification in acquired immunity is humoral and cellular immunity so this is a different classification and we have one more classification that is humoral and cell mediated okay so this is basically by beta cells and this is by t cells okay so the humoral immunity which is also known as antibody mediated immunity antibody mediated immunity so with the assistance from helper t cells with the assistance from helper t cells the beta cells will differentiate into plasma beta cells that can produce antibodies against a specific antigen so this humoral immune system deals with antigens from pathogens that are freely circulating or outside the infected cells so antibodies produced by the beta cells will bind to these antigens neutralizing them or causing lysis by dissolution or destruction of the cells or even by phagocytosis so this is mainly by antibodies okay whereas a cellular immunity or cell mediated immunity which occurs inside infected cells and is mediated by t lymphocytes this is beta cells and this is t lymphocyte so the pathogens antigens are expressed on the cell surface or on an antigen presenting cell so these helper t cells release cytokines that help activated t cells bind to the infected cells and differentiate uh, this t cells into a cytotoxic t cell and the infected cell then undergo lysis so the basic difference between this humoral and cell mediated as i mentioned uh, the humoral immunity produces antibodies against the antigen which are present outside the infected cells or free circulating in the blood okay whereas cell mediated immunity works inside the infected cell where it destroy the pathogen or microorganism by the process of lysis by release of cytokines okay this is present outside and this is present inside the pathogen so our humoral system uh, which uh, shows very quick response against uh, pathogens while the cell mediated uh, is slow in action but both the types are part of our adaptive or acquired immunity okay 
so that is the difference between this humoral and cell mediated immunity so we can summarize uh, this humoral and cell mediated as the humoral immunity is uh, associated with beta lymphocytes so beta lymphocytes okay and is responsible for destroying the pathogen by producing antibodies against it whereas a cell mediated is associated with T lymphocytes and is responsible for destroying the pathogen or microorganisms so this humoral is mediated by beta lymphocytes and this is mainly by T lymphocytes natural killer cells and macrophages so this is mainly by antibodies okay but here there is no production of antibody that is a basic difference cell mediator is not working under the principle of antibody here the production of antibodies is there so this humoral immunity it plays a major role in recognizing antigen or any foreign particle and in producing antibodies against it whereas the cell mediated immunity is related to t lymphocytes which work by identifying the viruses or microorganism and destroying them by the cell lysis or phagocytosis okay there is no production of antibodies so humoral immunity is known for working against extracellular pathogen and this is known for working against intracellular pathogen this is extracellular or which is circulating to the blood this is intracellular and this basically secretes antibodies okay this is secreting antibodies this is secreting by cytokines okay humoral is done by antibodies cell mediated is done by cytokines and humoral immunity is rapid or quick in the response this is a delayed uh, though the permanent action against any pathogen and this is most commonly uh, regarding the hypersensitivity type 1 2 and 3 this will be definitely type 4 because it is a delayed reaction and mm, that is about the difference between humoral and cell mediated immunity it is another type of classification adaptive or acquired so we have the first classification which was natural and artificial natural passive natural active artificial passive and artificial active this is a mother to child this is infection by smallpox this is antibody transfer from a different uh, animal or different person who is immunized we are taking we are extracting the antibodies from the immunized person to a non immunized one this is by body itself creating uh, immunity against uh, certain diseases like polio and uh, cholera by introducing vaccines okay so that's all about uh, our immunity we have basically two types one is innate uh, or native uh, default immunity and another one is acquired immunity this is before infection this is after infection this again has all this classification natural artificial passive active passive active there is another classification of acquired one which is humoral immunity and cell mediated immunity it's a very common question in uh, microbiology you could expect humoral immunity or cell mediated immunity or you could expect innate immunity or adaptive or any uh, individual type of immunity so that's all about immunity i'll come up with a new session in dentistry and more thank you